All right, another project for this week is to get rid of this tub here that has my canister filter and has my aerator pumps. I'm gonna mount the canister filter over there underneath the hosta and try and hide it. And then I'm gonna run a back flush uh, to be able to clean the garden very easily. Then I'm gonna clean up this mess of stuff over here and try and tuck this stuff underneath the rocks. And then we're gonna get this area back, uh, potentially as a sitting area here. You know, so I already got a hole dug over there. Just gotta unplug everything in here. So this kinda has been a good makeshift uh, waterproof box for over the years for my electrical stuff but again it's big and bulky and uh, sticks out like a sore thumb so we're gonna get rid of it and now that I look at it I don't think that hole is deep enough but we'll see how it goes all right so this is the first time I've been messing with the hoses uh, for a couple years this has been up so I'm gonna have to get some new hose this stuff right here is really flexible this stuff is really stiff and I uh, can't round it very good and it's just doesn't work out very good it's actually slightly slightly different diameter uh so i'm gonna have to get some different hose i think i got this from a major pond supply store this stuff i got from some local place and it's kind of chauncey so i'm gonna get rid of this uh today's saturday we're going on the weekend actually tuesday i've off tuesday so maybe i'll run tuesday and pick some more of this hose up and uh i gotta get more of it anyway for actually i'm gonna probably get uh, wider diameter hose for the new uh, filter setup that I have coming. This is kind of what prompted all this stuff. Uh, actually, just noticed it's all frog right there. Um, so this is in there. I'm going to go ahead and backfill some of this dirt in there and get this cleaned up a little bit. But I'm not going to be able to finish this uh, until I get this hose situation figured out. So it's just going to have to stay like that for a couple days. Um, I can actually already see that there is tremendous amount more. Uh, water coming out from clipping those ends, uh, so that's good. Um, I'll readjust some things and I'll be back. All right, so it's uh, pretty hot and humid. I'm getting ready to pack it in for the day, but you're gonna see I have an outlet hose or drain hose coiled up over there. Uh, I got to do a flush tomorrow, so that's an inconvenient spot for now. Uh, I gotta find a little bit nicer way to do that. Maybe I'll route it around the back here through some extra plants i got all kinds of extra plants and pots here from prior plantings over here just threw some stuff over there just get out of the way start to break down this field stone wall now that i'm building up my uh retaining wall a little bit so i'm starting to break down that field stone get that squared away and i don't know if i'll get to it this week i just blew a wad on a whole bunch of new uh pond equipment but I'm going to run this out. I'm thinking about extending the pond out this way. Another 2,000, 3,000 gallons or so. Uh, so I'm just kind of getting some stuff out of the way, clearing up some stuff, trying to determine what I want to do. i got to thin out a lot of these plants and, uh, again, try and get some normality back to things. So if you guys don't already have ponds, yes, my life is a mess. I have a lot of stuff I've acquired. But if you don't have ponds yet, this is what owning ponds is like tubs and tubes and vacuums and hoses and buckets and pumps and pumps and pumps and filters and nets and tubing i gotta get my life in order there's just so many things because i constantly have projects going on. i don't even know how many pumps i have at this point i probably have three or four pumps i've got heaters i got hoses i got fittings i've got so many extra pieces and I just do these things on a whim and come up with these contraptions and sometimes they work sometimes they don't but that is why I have this entire corner pretty much dedicated to pond stuff so um let me know in the comments below if you have ponds if this is what your life is like you probably have stuff neatly on the on shelves which I should get to however <laughs> this is my life I just have too much stuff everywhere i would have loved to have pumps big enough to run all that stuff back to the shed um however uh, i lose a lot of head pressure so uh i never attempted to try and do that all right guys here's going to be the final installment of this part of the video um i just threw some plants over here for now again stuff i had in pots that need attention but uh the canister filter is uh in the ground 
I have the hose, outlet hose in there. Still have some wiring stuff to clean up. I threw some blocks here because my dog keeps on stealing these plants. Uh, so I put this there to keep her away from that. Um, while I was messing around with the hoses, I hid the hoses a little bit better over there. Kind of re-leveled some of the stone over here. So that's going to button up this one for now. Um, I have a spillway I'm going to do. I'm going to redo this waterfall. I don't know how yet. Either I'm going to put it over here or I'm going to put it back in the corner more and do a spillway. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for the goldfish pond for now. Um, next video, I'm going to show you guys some new, new stuff uh, that's on the way. Uh, because I have a sickness and everything spirals out of control uh, whenever I start on a project. But uh, we'll button up this one. Stay tuned for the next one and we'll get into it.